Hey, it's there again. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. We're here to save lives. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett.